Hey Salifus, this is Super Summer Guard Barbecue, and today people, we are going to be looking at the end of the Jack Gallagher RTG. I just want to thank you all for making that, for me personally, very special episode of Road to Glory Roulette. It's now the most watched version yet. Seriously, much appreciation for that because it was a very, very special version for me. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. However, we're going to get into the Hardened Fusion first of all from that stream just afterwards. But then we're going to talk about some very, very popular subjects, plus what's possibly going to be the event card this week, and what's going to be Team RD card this week, which I've got a couple of strong suggestions, and one very, very popular subject, which a lot of people have been asking, when the hell is that coming? I'll see you afterwards. But whoa, 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 before you go there, remember to like this video if you like what you see. I'm not begging for likes, by the way, for the people in the comments section being really negative. I'm just asking if you like what you see, please. Hit the like button. That'd be great. And segue! You know what? I'm in such a good mood. Do you know what I'm going to do? What? Just speed up a fusion. Oh my god. Hardened. Oh. Oh, why is your rubber enter, Dan? <laughs> Dan's never getting Tyler. Here we go. First one I've done on stream. It's going to be. Ah, it's Johnny Wrestling! <laughs> Johnny Gargano! Yes! Tag team hype! I got Ciampa in the last fusion. Gargano in this fusion. We need to see his finisher. Maybe next time. But a tag team hype. DIY hype! Johnny Wrestling. So before we get on to our next point, just going to have a very, very brief segue. We can have a look at this month's Wrestle Crate. I just got it for us a little bit later than usual, but we're still going to have a look at the amazing content in it in 60 frames per second. I like having a camera that's actually decent this time. Now, if you like what you see, go to WrestleCrate.co.uk or WrestleCrate.com or search up on Google or do whatever. Go into the links in the description below if you want to. And type in the code ZOMG for 10% off of your first crate. And we're going to get into this right now. Here we go. Uh, open this up. I've been hearing it's a good one this month. So I'm going to open it up. It's very, very heavy and very hard to open up. Oh, because something's going to pop out in front of me. Literally, something just attacked me. You can't even see what's inside if you look like up here. Look. It's literally, you can't even see what's inside. So we're going to open it up and I'm going to open it. This looks like a foam. That is just awesome. A too sweet. <laughs> it's, a, it's a hand. Uh, okay. I have a too sweet. That's amazing. Believe it or not, this is my uh, two years subscriber emote for Twitch. So if someone hits two years, they actually get themselves a two sweet sign. So this is going to come really in handy. I'm That's awesome. I like this. Okay, I, I can't open this with the rest of it. I can't like keep putting my hand inside this. You know what, I'm going to take this off. But that is very impressive. I like it. Good job, Russell Prick. And if I'm seeing this right. That is absolutely insane. Okay, I can open this up. Okay. This is a t-shirt. Oh, it's a bruiser weight. That looks insane. The unstoppable bruiser weight. Pete Dunn, 1993. Young X Bitter. Very, very nice. I, uh, that's a very good t-shirt. I will be wearing that. Because until WWE finally gets some merch out for this guy, this is all we have. We've got a Ring of Honor, Super Show of Honor. Nice. It's four discs inside here. Four discs of wrestling goodness. It is a 173 and O pin. Not Braun, because Braun's over there. But 173 and O pin. That's quite cool. I'll be putting out my bag of pins. PJ Black, signed. Darewolf. Very nice. And this summer shimmy is like a little wrestling story that pretty much is showing how the struggles of getting from the bottom to the top. So you get issue one or issue two with this crate and then issue three goes on sale in May apparently. So this actually looks quite cool, a decent read at least. So yeah, nice little independent wrestling stuff and you gotta love the independent wrestling stuff because sometimes a little bit more characters behind it than WWE stuff. But uh, they know what you think about the Russell Crate comment section. Remember to go over to www.russellcrate.co.uk or russellcrate.com. Code ZOMG. Going to get 10% off and back to the video.
And here you have Johnny Wrestling's proc. Johnny Gargano versus The Miz. And you can see here, this finisher is one of my favorites in Super... It's just brutal. It's just... You know what? I'm going to treat you like a spear and I'm just going to throw you at something. Just insane. Uh, and there's Triple H. This is my favorite ever image of Triple H, by the way. Favorite ever image of Triple H in this game. Absolutely awesome image. Um, I hope... I hope that he has a card like the ultimate cards or something in the future because it's such a shame that that card doesn't have the ability for it to be expanded let me know what you think about me getting that second member of diy in the comment section below it's my second hardened fusion very very happy with that let's pull off these cards from the board and then we need to put him back in the fusion chamber right now activate in it goes bang bang done Thank you very much. I'm now going to wait. I'm now going to have to wait for another five days to get this done. 14,000 credits. No thank you, sir. But the next thing I wanted to talk about. Uh, this is something that a lot of people are going to be asking. Jack Gallagher's Road to Glory is close to being finished. We've got team slots to fill. We've got a team event tomorrow. I don't know what it's going to be. I think it's team ring domination this week. But talking about teams. Given that team events are a very, very popular thing in Supercard. It makes me very surprised that after a year and a half, we still don't know what the hell is coming soon. Seriously, it's been coming soon for like the last year and five to six months. Just what the hell, Supercard? We have no idea what's coming soon. It's not a support card. We know it's not a support card. We know it's not an enhancement. We know it's not a, another superstar card unless they decide to add two females into there. But I do have a couple of guesses I'd like to throw in. Okay. I want to know what your thoughts are on the coming soon icon because as far as I'm aware, the coming soon icon, we've never been aware, even when I've had conversations with Cat Daddy, they've never mentioned what is actually coming soon. And it's getting to the point now where I'm actually starting to think that it's never actually coming. Um, so my thoughts originally were that this is going to be something else that's going to be added to the game. Now, when the attitudes came out, I thought that this was going to be the way they were going to add the attitudes in. So you'd have an attitude per person and when they build up enough people or enough attitudes in game that they'd eventually be able to add those into the game one can have their own individual premium attitudes to use maybe when they eventually get ranked uh, team play which would be amazing if they ever did ranked team play that'd be awesome a lot of people would be very interested in that although let's just try and get the network to be able to handle how many people are playing the game right now if we can without any network errors that'd be great but uh that's one of the things that uh, i've got a feeling it could be the other thing is mixed tag teams now mixed tag teams have been rumored for some time could be coming to the game i personally think that mixed tag teams needs to happen given that we are having more female superstars thrown at us that could be filled up with a a second female or a third male or something or whatever i personally think they should do a second female, which means that you could have mixed tag teams, level up the stats of the females. That means you then have the ability for female tag teams, mixed tag teams, which I think would level things up a little bit. It just makes it a little bit more interesting in game, and especially if you leveled up the female stats a little bit, you could easily do mixed tag teams without any problems. And it would be a lot more interesting in King of the Rings as well. Uh, it wouldn't just be here's a female match, here's a male match, you then have a mixed tag team match. and. That, that would just make things, I, I personally think, a little bit more interesting than just having you know, these set matches. You know, it'd be a bit more harder to predict. The other thing could be some kind of effect or some kind of support card maybe that'd be coming in. Or a special version of a card that you can only have. I mean, a lot of people were thinking the fusions might be what is coming soon a long time ago. Because they were expecting the fusions to be like ridiculously overpowered. That never happened. Maybe this could be like a one-off support thing that you can use. Maybe you get double points for the entire team or something. Or like for a certain amount of time. Or I don't know, some kind of bonus added to it. But let me know what you think is coming soon in the comments section. Or as far as we're aware, coming never. Um, I would hope though that by the next update we have some kind of details as to what actually is coming soon. It, it'd be nice if we did have that because at this point I wouldn't be surprised in the next update if that coming soon marker just disappears into the distance. The ring domination, 
at this point they've not been they've not done a AJ Styles or a Seth Rollins. So I'm gonna go along with one of them two. Possibly after what happens at Fastlane tonight, I might predict Seth Rollins would do it. Maybe Kevin Owens. Maybe they might do a pro of some kind because we are coming towards the end of the tier. This week's event, I'm still suggesting, is going to be a female. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments section below about that. If you've got any predictions of your own. I would love to see Samoa Joe. But I've got a feeling. Just got a feeling it's going to be a female. And I'm def I mean, almost certain. So, yeah. Remember to like this video. Hit as hard as you can. We have a Stars Clash. And also don't forget to subscribe using the little link that's going to pop up just down here. And also don't forget to check the description below for details to Twitch. Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And don't forget that Nintendo Switch giveaway, which is linked into the video. Go check it out and enter. So I'll see you guys very soon. One last thing, and that is two. Sorry!